What is going on guys, it's Knives here and today we are back for another episode of Britain's Best Plum. Today we are going to be trying out Signature Red. Now, I haven't opened these, as you can see they're still in the plastic. I've had these for almost a year, I'm pretty sure I bought these in February 23, it's now January 24, but like I said they're still in the plastic so I'm sure they'll be fine. Just go ahead and try and find the seal to take that off. Pulling that top bit of plastic off was satisfying, but the bottom one was definitely not satisfying. <laughs> so these are Signature Filter Red, the new pack, as it says down here. And if I go over the packaging, it's not appealing at all. Ooh, fucking dropped them. It's not appealing. It's not a particularly nice red. To me, it looks more brownie orange than it does red. You've got these manky teeth on the front and the big NHS warning to stop smoking. On the back it says... Scandinavian Tobacco Group Signature Red Filter 10 Cigars So it's a slidey packet like this Let's go ahead and show you that bit I can't read that in the camera so it says Signature Red now in a new convenient pack Flip them up and there are your cigarillos Get one of them out So this is the cigarillo itself Filter in the end, obviously, tobacco up to the mouth. Mouth? I've never called the start of a cig or a joint or a blunt or anything the mouth. I don't know why that just came out, but you know what I mean. The tip, the smoking end. They smell like vanilla. Hang on a second. I didn't notice this when I opened them, but... The pack itself smells like tobacco and... A faint little bit of sweetness, but the actual individual cigarette, cigarillo, whatever you want to call this. That smells like vanilla. I don't think these are flavoured, but I'm just going to puff on it dry. No sweetened tip. The flavour is... I, I don't know why I'm dropping everything today. Dry taste is quite creamy. It tastes like tobacco, really. Obviously, I haven't smoked one of these as a cigarillo or a cigarette because these were still in the packaging. I have no desire to do that. Usually, if I buy, like, little cigars or flavoured things, I will try them out as they intended to be before I try them out as a blunt. I don't want to do that today. And I don't see myself doing this at any point. I don't even want to do this review. I've been spoiled recently. I got gifted some backwards and some swishers and I've been smoking them and really enjoying them. So um, I put this off for so long last year because I didn't think that this was going to be good. Now I think it's time to finally do it. So it looks, you're probably not going to be able to really tell, but it looks like it's leaf wrapped. But I don't really think it is. I'm pretty sure that it's just you know, paper or tobacco paper underneath this very thin leaf wrapper, but I suppose I'll try and undo it just to see if it works. So down here is the seal. This is actually working, you know. Oh no, it ripped. Oh, bastard. That was looking so positive. There, ripping off the leaf wrapper. And then it ripped. And now it's all kinds of fucked. As far as I can tell, this is real leaf. It feels like a real leaf. It doesn't feel like paper. There's, um some veins on there that I don't think you can see but yeah this as far as I'm concerned right now I think this is real leaf on the outer packaging but it is very very thin not to be gross but this kind of feels like when imagine you've had sunburn you've been on holiday and you've you know caught sun really really bad it's been a few days or whatever and you've just peeled a big lot of dead skin off of wherever you got burned that's what this feels like to me like uh human skin that's been peeled off. <laughs> I reckon if you tried really hard, you might be able to peel this off. I'm gonna give it one more go, and then if it doesn't work, 
we're just going to empty out the cigarillo like we usually do. So attempt number two, I'm going to try and moisten this as I peel it as if I was, you know, unwrapping a backwood or some kind of leaf wrapped cigar. See if it works or not. That went incredibly well, apart from right at the end, where I just ripped the tip of it, but that is our leaf wrapper, which is not focusing at all, but we've got a leaf wrapper. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to put in this, maybe like 0.5 of a gram, if that, but I'm going to try and roll this up. I'm kind of excited now. Okay, boys and girls, I don't know if you're ready for this. <laughs> this is possibly the worst looking blunt in the world. This was difficult to roll, I'm not gonna lie, because it's so thin and so narrow, it was very hard to roll. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know, I didn't actually look before making this, a tobacco leaf unrolled from a cigarillo, which is definition of a blunt, from a pack of UK cigarillos that you can just go and buy in any corner shop or corner shop. That's because I, <laughs> I was going to say news agents and then my brain was like, no, just say corner shop. That's why it came out weird. So you can buy them from any corner shop, supermarket, you know, pretty much anywhere in the UK. You can walk in and buy signature reds, unroll them and then roll yourself a tiny, <laughs> tiny, very, very bad blunt. By all intents and purposes of me making this series, I've just found the first proper blunt, I guess, so, um, hype on that, but we'll see if it smokes. I didn't put a filter in this, you probably could if you wanted to. Nothing else left to do but see if she smokes. Cheers. Get a light of that works, that'd help. Tastes fucking awful. Signature reds. Can you make them into a blunt? The answer is yes. Is it any good? It's not the worst. I'll be honest with you. It's not the worst I've tried. It's starting to hit better now. Halfway through it. Which means, you know, I could have rolled this better. If I'd have taken a bit more time, I probably could have fit a little bit more in there and I could have made it look a little bit better. But this is working. I'm going to call that a win. It was a bit touch and go there at the start, but now that she's going, she is actually going. These aren't the biggest, and you're probably not going to want to pass these around, but if you're in a pinch and you want a blunt and you don't have much money and you are in the UK, Signature Reds, give them a try. Very thin very difficult to roll i will say that or maybe i'm just shit at rolling blunts which i'm not good at rolling blunts i'll put it up here right here right now 
but it works. It doesn't taste good, but it's by far not the worst flavor that we've had yet. I think those are unflavored. I wouldn't intentionally buy an unflavored pack of blunts. The whole point is to get flavored tobacco, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I, I assume that those were supposed to be vanilla-ish flavored, but it didn't taste like anything but shitty tobacco, to be honest with you. So um, flavor's not great, but also not the worst. It works, it smokes. Uh, would I do this again? Probably not. Signature Reds on the Britain's Best Blunt scale. These were the first cigarillos that we could actually unroll the leaf from and re-roll it up as an actual blunt. So immediately, that's gonna put them at the top. Quality-wise, not great. Very, very thin, very easy to rip. Flavor-wise, unflavored as far as I'm concerned. They don't taste like anything, but Obviously, there's a tobacco taste there, which is not the best. I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. By no means are they good. They are not good. But just purely for the fact that they actually had a leaf that we could unravel and roll back up as blunt, that's where most of that rating is coming from. 7 out of 10 for the Signature Reds. Like this video if you like it. Leave me a comment telling me if you go out and try making a blunt out of some Signature Reds. By no means do I recommend that you do this. It's not a good idea and it's not a good smoke, but if you want to do this, leave me a comment, let me know how it went. Subscribe for more videos. Peace.